It's pretty much the entire storyline of 11.0 was leaked and we know about everything that happens until the finale of the starting patch of the War Within, we already have hints on what the War Within will look like and what the next two major patches will be about. Apparently, there's a hidden map of Castle Guard that might be related to the fifth old god and potentially yet another level to the zone. There are hints of a huge new capital we will discover, there are hints of an entire continent that might just be the biggest major patch content yet. So what is everything we currently know about 11.1 and 11.2 and where are we going to? If you want to get Dragonflight or anything else Warcraft related, Gamil has some excellent deals that you can check out with my link below. Best of all, you can get software, gift cards, a bunch of games at below market prices. On top of that, you can also use my code DORON to get yet another discount, so make sure to check out my link below and grab some amazing deals at Gamivo. So realistically, based on the timeline of the release of the next two expansions, it is very likely that the War Within will be like Dragonflight and that it will have two major patches. So we're looking at 11.1, 11.2 and very likely the mini patches in between combined with probably some experimental features like we had gotten with Plunderstorm and Myths of Pedalia Remix. Now the beta for the War Within just started, but we have actually data mined the entire storyline of the expansion even a month ago. We don't have all the details, things are obviously subject to change of course but we know how every zone is going to play out we even have the description of what happens in the cinematics we don't have any of the really quality cinematics at the moment but we got the gist of it we know what happens there aren't really any crazy spoilers so far as the 11.0 storyline is pretty cookie cutter as you would expect some big reveals like the Arati, the Haronir and Atanam Nerubian lore but so far we haven't seen any crazy twist that would like change everything the only information we had gotten is that there is apparently a hidden map of Kazakhstan that they don't want to show in the beta as it would obviously spoil the storyline this is one of the possible new patch content and it is kind of similar to that indication we had gotten back in the dragonflight beta if you may remember it was evident that the new night elven city would be placed in this zone and that is pretty much exactly what happened about a year later. However, what do we know and what are the next two patches going to be about in the War Within? For the start, this is the one with the most supporting evidence. I've talked about this years ago as we had constantly gotten hints, but so far the evidence seems very, very clear that we're going to be getting something with the goblins. So throughout the War Within Alpha, we can found many new armors and items related to the goblins that were data mined in the builds and are not really related to anything that happened so far in in the storyline. Even more interestingly, we had found actual goblin presence in Kazagar, which was not exactly something we would have expected. However, the biggest bit of evidence is the introduction of Gazlo as the fourth main character, obviously the goblin leader, and he's here alongside Illyria, Anduin, and Troll. We will soon get a short story of Gazlo apparently reviving a desperate goblin city and venturing to this place. While this might relate to something like Ratchet or Booty Bay, I would say it is highly unlikely and it is very possible that we might be going to Kazan in 11.1 or 11.2. Now that is just a foreshadowing, but here is the main bit of evidence. Kazan is actually very close to Kazlagar when you look at the map and most importantly, just like Kazlagar, undermined the goblin capital is almost entirely underground. Even more interestingly, it was hinted at the explosion in Kazan that happened prior to the Cataclysm. It didn't happen because of Deathwing, but because the goblins apparently dug out Azerite related to the World Soul and as you may know, Kazagara is also obviously connected to the world soul, so these two places that are very close by may be connecting to the same artery related to the world soul. Also, most of the hints show us that Andermine and Kazan are sort of struggling, but they're not actually destroyed, they're still active. We've actually gone to Kazan, if you may remember, in BFA in Motherload a few years back, but that was just on the surface. Most of the information says that Andermine, the capital city of the goblins, survived, but it is just struggling. Now, to play on to the recent actual data mined alpha information, apparently the Nerubian kingdom of Kazlagar and the one led by Nubarak in Northern were connected and these Kazlagar Nerubians refused to help them. However, the new information is that there is apparently a tunnel that connects Kazlagar all the way to Northern. We still don't know if it's a physical tunnel or like a portal, but very likely a physical one because Nerubians always dig tunnels and that would just show you how much of an underground network exists as this is literally two sides of the planet long tunnel, which means that there must also be a connection to around the sword of Sargeras and Silithus with the other old god servant Sakir, and 
potentially Kazan as it is quite close so a tunnel is definitely reaching it if there is really like a huge network so by the evidence through an underground zone and the presence of extra goblins even as early as now we're probably going to get a huge goblin patch like we got the BFA however very likely not just a goblin patch I know not a lot of people are too excited about it but something probably related to Azeroth and the void the goblin part and undermine will be like our base and allies in the new city but you're very likely going to be discovering some sort of secret tunnels or what the goblins can dug out back before cataclysm and very likely we might be dealing with like a void evasion of Zelda that's planning here as well as something related to the world soul so that is by all the evidence so far going to be one of the patches of the war within however what is the evidence for the other next major patch as i had previously stated devs said that there is another map either a new zone in castle Gar or just a zone that will get modified through a quest line that they're keeping hidden right now as it would spoil the storyline mapping in i think this is going to be related to the world 3 illumina here that is most likely at the lowest most layer i've talked about this so many times by now but all the evidence so far is pointing that the roots at the bottom planted upon old god corruption in castle Gar is the first ever world tree of azeroth the original one eluna here ripped out by the titans i don't necessarily think this could be major patch content but maybe something like 11.1.5 however implications are massive as we could discover new titan lore new old god maybe that fifth old god that was hinted in the mural and if it is the fifth old god related it could even turn out to be a major patch content however the biggest bit of evidence is an entire new continent and something you have definitely heard by this point the other side of Azeroth is actually a thing and very likely we're going to be dealing with a whole new continent of Aloran and a new Arati Empire. Personally all this sounds like whole expansion context based on the hints we had gotten but it's definitely possible that this could be patch content as well. I mean remember in the past we had gotten the entirety of Argus in just a simple patch which was technically a whole planet in patch content. The Hellfall guys are just an expedition that was supposed to establish portals and connect to the mainland and they died out and so they didn't have any mages to actually do it. Now Deloran crashed and Deloran mages are here and we can definitely help them establish this connection. Apparently this is the original Rati Empire on a new continent led by the Light Emperor, very rich, a force to be reckoned with and they might not take kindly to our races. Of course right now with the current information it is really hard to predict what can actually be happening here. They have kind of painted it both ways the Arati light humans could be evil but they could also be our allies in the future also the way they set it up the fact that just a portal can connect them but also being of Arati heritage this could either happen now in war within or in midnight as the place will be relevant even after the war within however if this is war within patch content we could be looking at a whole new pretty large continent at least the size of Kul Tiras. we should discover a gigantic city akin to Suramar but just like the light version of Stormwind with this new architecture we had just seen in hell fall of course as we are in the beta it is way too early to predict what could happen but this is definitely going to be patch content we just don't know the actual scale of it lastly the heavy hints that we might be going to crash the planet that dementias have destroyed and very likely zelda had her hands in there as well but personally i think this is going to be midnight content as this could really be huge so overall we got about three major patch hints even early as now undermine and a whole new goblin patch a new zone in Kazakar itself and even lower layer related to the world tree the fifth old god from the mural or the world soul lastly we could soon be dealing with the Arati human empire the light humans a whole new world we had never seen before the other side of Azor Thank you for watching, check out the undead evolving into new form by clicking on the screen and check out my video on the Cultimatrus and Nomen Mythology by also clicking on the screen as well. See you next time.